What's up, party people? It's your boy Jay weighing in at 205.2 pounds. Yeah, figured I'd be uh, holding weight one of these days because, uh, you know, we had a fun little weekend, a chill day yesterday. Yeah, sorry for the uh, couple blank pay, uh, spaces on this page. I got confused. Uh, essentially, <laughs> I have weighed in every single day, but there's a couple days that got confusing. Anyways, the goal this week is to hit 197. Uh, I did feel a little bit bloated today, but obviously uh, we had a rest day yesterday. Hitting the gym hard today. Going to do some legs. I'll show you my workout. So today I um, I was just prepping for I'm going to record the big, big podcast this week so for those of y'all following along i'm going to be doing the big six month um omad i'm gonna combine the vlog and the podcast together this week on wednesday it will be the beginning of it will be the a moment with jay which is my weekly podcast and then the end of it will be the regular um one meal a day with jay vlog uh, I will be answering a lot of questions, sharing my experience over the last six months, my recommendations, going over fasting and um, all kinds of stuff. I, I I spent pretty much all morning today uh, prepping for it tomorrow to bring just a pretty cool episode, um, which is also pretty cool. It's six months of doing... Um, OMAD has been cool and posting every day. It's also coming up on my one year anniversary for my podcast. So I'm plotting a, a, a special episode for that as well. Um, so it's, it's it's just cool. All these things coming together. You know, I've been pretty dedicated to and committed to these things for a while. I told myself if I started a podcast, I was going to do at least one year of it. And uh, as long as I'm still enjoying it and having fun, I will continue on with it. And so at this point, I definitely will be for uh, another season anyways. I can hear my uh, parents leaving. Sorry for that. Um, so, oh yeah, you can hear the truck. They're about to bounce. Uh, so I've been doing, uh, so the podcast. Um, yeah, so lots of, uh, just a lot of cool things to be uh, celebrating uh, over the next uh, coming weeks, and um, yeah, so today pretty simple. I'm doing this new thing uh, this week, um, just to kind of I'm kind of combining my meditation and my music production. Every morning, I give myself two hours to finish a. Um, uh, a meditation inspired um, track. So no words, all instrumentation and, you know, something that you can do yoga or meditate or do breath work to. And that's kind of the um, thing I've been doing every day this week. So I wake up, go for a walk outside because it's been pretty nice. Go for a walk, listen to an audio book, come home, um, prepare a coffee Sit down and give myself just two hours to make and finish and finish this track from start to finish. Um, thinking about putting out kind of a little bit of a meditation. Uh, just you know, it's good just for your you know calming to play while you're getting work done or whatever like that. Anyways, um, yes, it's an artistic practice, but it's also something for my mental health, and that's why I I, I uh. I mentioned it here. It's just part of the a, a new daily routine I'm trying out this week. Um, but today, what we're doing is uh, now that I got all that plot, I got, you know, a really, I think I'm really putting a lot of effort into the podcast this week. Um, this has been something I've been thinking about for a long time, the six months. And then uh, what I'm going to be do, you know, I'll be talking about what I'm doing moving forward, the original goal, all of that, all the stuff with Brandon, all that. It's going to be a big, long podcast. I just plotted it out. Uh, but today, so I, I've, I've done all that. I'm going to go hit a uh, leg workout downstairs. I am also going to uh, do some cardio 
We'll see how it goes. It might just be a lot of walking uh, because I'll blast my legs pretty hard uh, today. And the workout will be pretty simple. It will be just uh, some front squats with the dumbbells, some deadlifts with the dumbbells, and uh, some walking lunges. And then maybe some other movements if we if we're feeling feeling it. Did some mobility stuff. That's another thing. So um, once I'm done, once I'm done making the meditation track. So this is my second day of doing it. Once I'm done making the meditation track, I'll play it twice because they're pretty short. Somewhere between like a minute and a half and four minutes. You know, they're not super long. It's about the collection of them more than anything. And um, so then... So I'll do the uh, walk in the morning audio book, come home, do that track, no phone, just focus on the track. And it's like a meditative thing in itself. Um, then once I'm done the song, I listen, I play the song twice on repeat and I do a little mobility um, movement thing, kind of some yoga while I'm listening over to the tracks. So it's just a cool little morning. So I did that, about to go hit a leg workout, then I'll, I'll do at least some walking and then uh, we'll sit in the sauna. And today, I promised myself, I committed myself to answering everybody back on YouTube. I know I've been slacking with the comments. Uh, so I'm sitting in the sauna and I'm getting them all answered today. Or at least as many as I uh, I can stand. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So hopefully the next thing you'll see is some of my workout stuff. And then um, then you'll probably see Brandon stuff and then my one meal. All right, man. Love y'all. More love, more success. It's your boy, Jay. So today I decided to try and get as much um, footage as I could just to show y'all what's up. Uh, try to do some more artistic, high quality shots. So I really like the hanging uh, getting these videos of my back because I've really seen the progress. Look how lean my back has gotten. Um, this is just a, a set of hangs. All I did to begin with was 15 minutes of cardio. Just look at how muscular the back is getting. It is actually insane. This is unpumped. This is just the beginning of my workout. All I did was some treadmill before. I like to do some hangs. Great for decompression. Uh, great for shoulder mobility. Great for uh, training grip. I really need to focus on some more grip as I've been doing this. Uh, as you'll see, I, be, I was doing legs today. All I was just doing was uh, hangs for mobility and just to get my back um, just give my back some love and yeah here's another angle of it just you can really see the definition of the back coming in super proud of the progress here can't wait to see what i look like with another 25 pounds off my back is going to look insane so very very excited about that man i uh, want the christmas tree here so i did that did a little bit of mobility did a little bit of rolling out and then uh i thought this was a pretty cool shot but this was just some uh, warm-up mobility stuff I, I can't wait to start to get more kettlebells some heavier kettlebells uh, but this was just a light one. Uh, it's only 35 pounds. So I just did a bunch of squats, switch sides. This is just before I start to get my heavier reps in. Uh, I did a set before this of just some body weight. You know, we don't just jump into those heavy sets. We get the body nice and warmed up before we attack things. Super important to take care of the body. And even before that, I did some mobility stuff. And then I did some of the hangs that you saw before. Again, man, the iPhone, just, man, these are pretty good shots. This is just shot on my iPhone. Um, so, yeah, there's the dumbbells. We're taking them. They're 52 and a half pounds each, so 105 pound front squats. I do find the front squat with the dumbbells just to be significantly harder uh, than just with a barbell. You know, I can do 135, 225 pound uh, front squat. I also haven't done a hard leg workout in a while. Not that today was a super hard workout, but you can see this isn't too difficult for my lower body, but for my upper body, my shoulders, my biceps, 
uh, you know, they're getting rocked. My core is getting rocked real heavy with these. Not so crazy with the legs, but this is a very strenuous exercise. Really good for HGH release, testosterone release. It's going to promote a lot of muscle growth. Very good exercise, especially if you just got some dumbbells at home. Yeah, great set, Jay. I did a couple sets of these. And then we moved on to what? Oh, some lunges. So yeah, I sped this up for y'all. I can't remember if these are 35s each or 40 pounds. The thing that uh, really rocked me the most with these was just my grip strength. I really need to be focusing more on that grip strength. I find when I'm not training legs uh, very consistently, uh, my grip, grip strength starts to lack. Um, but I'll get back to doing the hangs and the carries one day this week too you'll see a workout where i just do a bunch of hangs like i was doing at the beginning uh but for much longer time and then some carries as well with heavy dumbbells and then we moved on to a set of i believe these are gonna be uh romanian deadlifts now this isn't very heavy weight for these uh, i wish i had some heavier weight at home to do this but still got a pretty decent tricep or uh, hamstring pump, which is all all I needed from that. So we did quite a few of these. I think fifteen, and even so, it, I I didn't fail because of my hamstrings. I failed because of my grip strength. Uh, man, sometimes I'm I'm impressed with my form. Uh, it's not every day that I get to see my own form and. You know, I've put in a lot of time, a lot of hours in the gym. And then, yeah, then the light cut off and I was like, oh, wait, this looks even sicker, way more intense with the window light. And I was like, ah, shit, I only got a couple reps. And so then I had to do one more exercise So just because I was like, man, this is – look how sick this looks. Look how sick that shot is, man. Sheesh. So then I ended up doing a one more set of front squats uh, with a push press. Just I was pretty cooked at this time. This was near the end of my workout. I was pretty blasted, but I was like, oh, man, I, I just want one more shot. This looks sick with, in this lighting. Uh, after this, I think I did another hour of cardio and then uh, got into uh, a hot bath for a little while. We'll catch up with Brandon, see what he's he's doing today, and then you'll see my one meal today. All right, we're back to the regular videos. We went in at 155.8 this morning, a little bit lower than what we wanted, uh, but that's okay. Like I said, we're moving on to something different, so we expect to kind of lose some weight. Uh, huge spread today at lunch. Uh, the company I work for bought me lunch today, so we had a huge spread, and then I came home and I had some chicken wings with some ranch. I don't know how y'all feel, but I think ranch is the goaded sauce with uh with the wings. But some people like the blue cheese. I don't know what it is, but I think ranch is goaded. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, this is what we're having for dinner tonight. Um, we got some air fried chicken wings. Oh, these are buffalo. These are just salt and lemon pepper, I believe. Gonna be delicious. I'm gonna have a little Reese's square. I'm actually going to have two chimichangas. These are going to be like 600 calories for both of them with like 30 grams of protein. I'm also going to eat the rest of this salad, which is so good. And then I'm going to have this uh, this uh, sugar-free jello, which this whole thing is going to be like 40 calories. It's going to have about, probably about 1,500 calories, 100 grams of protein, maybe even closer to 2,000, but I doubt it. Probably actually... I'd say about 1,500 calories. And uh, it's pretty close to 100 grams of protein. All right. Not the cleanest because of the chimichangas, but I really want to eat these motherfuckers, so we're going to eat them tonight. <laughs> Big day at the gym tomorrow. All right. We'll have more success.